my, my uh, feeling about art is that one very important aspect of art is that it makes people aware of what they know and don't know that they know. I love to fly alone. The best moments of my life, I think, have been alone in an airplane. Solitude is often considered loneliness, something of a despair or an undesirable state of being. Of course, long-term isolation has negative effects, but one must consider, I think, the benefits of being alone as well. In aviation, we all understand that we'll never stop learning. We're never gonna reach some nirvana. We'll never be omniscient. And hopefully this keeps us humble. In training, we're always with an instructor. And that's a good thing. We're student pilots at that stage. But we're not ready yet for a lot of solo time. And at that point in your flying, it's generally a little nerve wracking, but a necessary and good part of training. Pilots remember their first solo far more than they recollect their first flight with a passenger that isn't their instructor. In striving to become the best pilot that we can be, the safest, whether it's guiding an airplane or just our very lives themselves, we have to consider solitude as a tool, a necessary implement. I'm gonna read the abstract of a academic paper because, uh, you know, people love that. This paper is from 2011 by Christopher Long and James Averill. It's called Solitude, an Exploration of Benefits of Being Alone. Historically, philosophers, artists, and spiritual leaders have extolled the benefits of solitude. Currently, advice on how to achieve solitude is the subject of many popular books and articles. Seldom, however, has solitude been studied by psychologists who have focused instead on the negative experiences associated with being alone, particularly loneliness. Solitude, in contrast to loneliness, is often a positive state, one that may be sought rather than avoided. In this article, they go on to basically say that they're going to examine some of the benefits that have been attributed to solitude, and they specifically list freedom, creativity, intimacy, and spirituality. If flying isn't spiritual or creative or a perfect vehicle to experience freedom, then I don't know what is. And thinking about freedom for a second, that's really the fire starter, the kinetic energy of creativity. And for that, you have to have a quiet mind and a quiet mind is an open mind. I think to develop this in yourself, you have to implement and utilize solitude in some way. I particularly love this one quote from the widely heralded and regarded philosopher Wikipedia. Freedom is considered to be one of the benefits of solitude. The constraints of others will not have any effect on a person who is spending time in solitude, therefore giving the person more latitude in their actions. With increased freedom, a person's choices are less likely to be affected by exchanges with others. I really like this. When I fly alone, I fly a little differently than I do with passengers. I feel the plane a little bit more closely. I'm more in touch with the subtleties and the nuances of my connection with the airplane. Johnson Tower, Archer 2123 Kilo, 10 miles to the northwest, descending from 3000, uh, inbound for the option with Charlie. Archer 2123 Kilo, Johnson Tower, continue inbound for three miles northwest of the field. Report three miles west of the field, 2123 Kilo. 
All right, we're going to start enriching here, and uh, we don't need any carb heat, I don't think, but we'll just check it real quick. I think we're all good. Fuel is on a proper tank. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch to the right tank. Fuel pump on. Over to the right tank. Checking the pressure. Fuel pump off. Fuel pressure still good. Got the ATIS. Altimeter is set. Throttle DG to compass. Good. And we're all set for the descent. I think everyone should find something in their lives that affords them this kind of zen, this kind of flow state, and connect to the gratitude of it all. And for pilots, I hope you consider flying alone as much as you can. For me, at least, it's where I grow the most as a pilot and a person. All right. Feels on best tank, undercarriage is welded. Mixture is gonna go ahead and go full rich. Props and pumps are set, lights. Now light it up. And report three miles west of the field. And jump to tower, Archer two, one, two, three kilo, three miles west. Archer two, one, two, three kilo, continue inbound for the left downwind to runway two. Continuing inbound, left downwind for zero two, Archer two, one, two, three kilo. All right, here we are at pattern altitude. And we're being the touchdown point. We'll go ahead and put one notch of flaps in. In November 2123 two, Kilo, I have you in sight. You'll be number one, runway two, clear for the option. Number one, clear for the option, zero two, Archer 2123 two, Kilo. Altitude out here in the hills. All right, final's clear. Second notch.
66 knots. is welded mixture is rich props and pumps are good seatbelt switches all good two white on speed Downwind, runway two. System one nine six five zero, John Tune Tower Port, three miles northeast, and you can expect that right downwind. 
I will expect the right down one will report three miles northeast of the uh, runway there, 19650. Two towers here, it's 262 Bravo Charlie, we are four and a half miles on a final RNAV 2. Series 2 Bravo Charlie, runway 2, clear to land, trap your following landing roll. Clear to land, runway 2, uh, 262 Bravo Charlie. Right on, pattern altitude. Archer 23 Kilo, traffic following this series on about a one mile final. Get that traffic in sight. Uh, looking for that traffic, 2123 Kilo. Oh, yes, I have the traffic in sight, 23 Kilo. And 23 Kilo, runway 2, number 2, clear for the option. Clear for zero 02, number 2. For the option, 2 on 2, 3 kilo.
three kilo, turn right when able. You can taxi to Park via Alpha. Which Romeo taxiway works best for you? Uh, right off of three to Alpha, and we'll take uh, Romeo to the two hundred three kilo. Hard to that, Romeo two is approved. Two three kilo, thanks. Thanks for your help. Yeah, man. Doing this just alone. I'm very lucky to live three miles from the airport or whatever, but man, on a day like today. Airport's quiet. My my mind is quiet. No real plan. Go out, feel the airplane some, do some landings. I mean, God, I, I just feel very, very, very lucky that I do this at all. I can complain all I want about a lot of things, but man, this is outrageous.